everyone, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas and today I'm going to show you how to create this fast and easy card using our cuttables. For this card, we're going to be using the web cuttables. First, download the web cuttable file from our website. The downloadable file is a compressed file that contains both the SVG file and the Studio Cut files. I'm working on a Mac, so I just double click or right click the file and select the application that will unzip the file. So here's the unzipped file and you can see the two different types of files. I have a Silhouette SD, so I'm going to use the Studio file. For my Silhouette Studio application, I go to the top left of the screen, select File, and scroll down to Open. Then I select the Studio file. Then click OK. The web cuttables comes with a bunch of different elements, but I want to use the biggest web. It's four and a quarter by five and a half, perfect for a card. So I move all the other elements off the mat. Only what's on the mat will cut. Now I want to adjust the paper size. Go over to the paper size icon and put in the size of the paper that I'll be cutting from. See how it adjusted the paper size? Now I make sure that the image that I want to cut is selected, and now I head on over to the cut icon. For this cuttable, I'll keep it on standard. Under cut style, I'll select the third icon marked cut, because my design has interior cuts. Now move down to material type. The type of material you use will determine what you select. I'm cutting cardstock, so I'll select cardstock heavy. Move further down and you should see blade type. I'm using a ratchet blade and it shows me what depth my blade should be. I can use the arrows to the left or right to move the depth up or down. For the best cuts, I like to choose the slowest speed and click double cut. For line segment overcut, I click on. Then I click the button send to silhouette. Now here's how I set up my silhouette. I pull out my ratchet blade and adjust the blade to the number of the blade in the software. It was set to 7, so I'll adjust the blade to 7. Then I make sure the little notch is at 3 o'clock and insert it back into the carrier. For the paper, I attach it to the carrier and to sh ensure that it doesn't move around while it cuts, I'll tape the paper down at the edges. Make sure that the arrow is pointing up. Now I load the paper and carrier into the machine by pressing enter. Now go back to the software and click start. It will take a while to cut so we'll let it do its thing. It's done! Press the enter button and the carrier unloads. See? The web cut! Now carefully lift it from the carrier and trim any parts that didn't cut. Now let's make the card. We're going to be using our brain set for this card, the Mummy and a Sentiment. We're also going to be using the free cutting file for this set to fussy cut the mummy. I'm going to be using Marvy dye ink for the mummy since I'm going to be coloring him in Copics. Let's ink him up and try and center him in the cut. Now 
not too shabby. Let's set them aside to dry. I'm going to be using this orange paper as the main part of my card and it'll show underneath the web. For this card, I don't want the frame around the web, so I'll cut it off. Add a little adhesive to the back of the web and attach it to the striped paper. Love the way this looks. So now I'm going to place this layer on top of a black layer. Now let's add the spider. He comes in the web cutting file and I love how detailed my silhouette cuts him out. Just a couple of foam dots to the back of him and he's ready to attach to the card. Now for the web he hangs from. I'll just tuck it to the back and place a little adhesive over it and place the whole shebang on the card base. That will secure it. Time for the sentiment. I'll stamp it on a strip of green paper using the Marvy dye ink. Now I'm going to cut a little flag in the end. I want it to hang from the web, so I'll fold it over and add a bit of foam tape to the back to make it stand up. Pretty cute. Well, it's time to color up the mummy. A little flesh tone for the flesh. A little darker flesh tone for the skin just under the bandages for the shadow. And a little bit of gray 
for the bandages because you can't have a sparkly clean mummy. Well, I'm maybe if Stewart. you're a Martha Stewart mummy, that is. But this one's much older and less concerned about dirt. Maybe a little bit of brown just to give a little dirt look. And then a darker gray for the darker part of the shadow. And I think this mummy is just about done. Let's add him to the card. A little foam to the back. I think I want to place him where he's looking right at the spider. Finishing touch, just a little bit of shading underneath his feet. That's something that Leo Bryan would do. Okay, that looks really cute. And see how fast and easy it was with that web cuttables? I hope you try it. Have a great day.